Hi, and welcome to More Japan TV. This week we'll go over how to identify and install uh, hub centric rings onto your wheels. What is a hub ring, you might ask? A hub ring uh, is a little ring, like so, that would install onto the back pad of your wheel. Uh, what this does is it makes sure it makes sure that the wheel is fit properly onto your car's hub. Uh, that way, there's no play, uh, keeps the vibration down, and just makes sure that everything is rotating and spinning correctly and, and true. First, I'll go over how to install the hub ring onto your wheel. Uh, I've got two wheels here. Uh, this is a cutaway of a SSR Type C wheel, and this is a 16-inch uh, SSR Type F wheel. Let's see. So, in the Type F, you'll see that there are some little grooves in here. You want to install the hub ring into the wheel, like so. Make sure it snaps in, and then you want to use a C-clip. This is a pretty important piece. Um, this C-clip will ensure that the hub ring stays in place in the wheel, uh, that it's not uh, vibrating or shaking or anything. Uh, there's a little groove in the, in the back pad, which you'll just want to install, and it just snaps in like so. Once it's in, you shouldn't be able to pull the hub ring out, and it's, uh, it's, it's snug inside the wheel. Um, I'll put one here on the cutaway, just so that you can uh, kind of see what it looks like once it's in the wheel. Hub ring in. Hub ring in. And then the C-clip. Uh, I kind of have to hold it in since this is just a cutaway, but uh, you get the idea. Um, so it just sits in like so, and it actually decreases the, the wheel's bore so that it sits on your car's hub properly. Um, no vibrations, uh, just make sure that everything is mounted properly and secure. When trying to determine which hub ring you need, first thing you want to do is determine what the inner diameter of the hub ring should be. Uh, by doing that, you will want to measure the diameter of the hub on your car. Um, you'll want to use a caliper like so, um, or just a ruler, just measure the diameter in millimeters. Uh, next, you'll, you need to figure out the outer diameter of which you will need to just measure the wheel, uh, the wheel's hub bore. So on the back side, caliper or again a ruler, and just measure the diameter of the hub bore, and that will give you your inner and outer diameters for your hub ring to make sure that you have the correct fitting uh, for your particular application. These hub rings go for $20 a pair uh, on More Japan, so you'll need to order two pairs uh, for a complete car. Uh, these are all aluminum, uh, machined out. Um, they're not the plastic hub rings that a lot of the shops or uh, online sites will, will sell you. These are 100% aluminum. Um, these go again for $20 and you can order them on More Japan at www.more-japan.com or you can just uh, email us if you have any questions at info at more-japan.com. See you next week.